CBMs at that time were congruent actively. Oh yeah, I mean I, I for one, I'm just impressed that you know we were able to do. I say this a lot that, and I don't mean it to be fearful, but. I do say it because I'd like to know the answer. I'm not sure today we could do what we did 60 years ago in terms of what we built. I'm not sure we could do it. No. Seven, no. 72 within, I mean, what, a year, year, year and two months or something? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, this was, you know, I mean, come on, we got a, we got to raise the missile to the surface. Yeah. We have a 186 foot deep silo, 52 feet in diameter. She's got a launch platform that's acting as an elevator that's four stories tall, tall and weighs 400,000 pounds. We've got a million pounds worth of counterweights in a structure that's designed for a, basically a 17 to 18 story building. Or four million pounds suspended. Yeah, that's what that's what the infatuation for me. I mean, I, I just find that <laughs> just you know, I mean, I have heard this for years that you know the Walker sites for the state of New Mexico was considered the greatest engineering feat the state had ever seen. I don't doubt it. But you know, that, that's saying a lot because we had a gentleman. You know, during World War II, by the name of Dr. J. Robert Oppenheimer in Los Alamos, New Mexico. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's putting those sites in a league that's, wow, that's impressive. Um, so I don't, you know, I mean, look, they say the walls of the Atlas F. Okay, the silo walls yeah. are an eighth of an inch plumb for 186 feet. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, those are some of the greatest construction tolerances. We weren't used to those in 1960. <laughs> uh, I mean, did we learn an awful lot? Yeah, I mean, we learned, like, for example, we didn't need to, before we backfilled, to cover an Atlas F site with a copper mesh to stop the EMP or electromagnetic pulse. We don't need to do that because the displacement of the rebar was so dense anyway. It would have stopped the EMP. What, what's the deal with the Faraday box? Well, the same thing. We don't need to do that, but we didn't have the time to do the testing. Yeah. Look at what we did on the control center for Titan II. We wrapped it in half-inch plate steel. Yeah. We didn't have to do that, but we didn't know that till. You know, we had the time to do the testing. Well, we we, we, so, we we just didn't have the time. Well, no, and you know what I bring about is that, look, the government has a great word for this, okay? When we start construction, keep in mind, we did not, when construction began on Atlas F sites, we did not even have the Atlas Series F missile. Right. We, we didn't have it yet. But we didn't have the time to wait. You couldn't go to the former Soviet Union. Hey, guys, time out. Yeah. We need two and a half years to build the basing mode. <laughs> so, therefore, the fancy word being concurrency. But really, remember the last part of that word. It's currency. It's money. Right. 
thinking these things were astronomical. And again, it's, you know, we didn't, I mean, I, I can't fathom the elevator side of this thing. I mean, it's, it's something. I mean, I have two of the best pictures, large format, that are original of OSTF-1 at Vandenberg before it blew up mm -hmm. in December of 1960, okay? Gorgeous, flat gorgeous, okay? In fact, the reason that all first-generation sites on Atlas F side, you have the fire and debris door coming off of the stairwell into the utility tunnel leading to the... Um, silo uh -huh. was an afterthought and the reason being is it was because of the accident of ostf at vandenberg on Man. the titan one that makes sense so i mean all of a sudden not only do you have two more additional blast doors at the vestibule at the end of the utility tunnel to the silo you now have this fire and debris door and what makes it really quite interesting is I have the original photographs that show the sites without it. Yeah. So it, they came back in and rebuilt it to put that in. And I mean, it's, 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 I mean, it's just amazing. I mean, what I would like to do, and I'm hoping maybe, maybe by next summer, um, I want to be in Washington, D.C. Uh -huh. And I want to, I want to look through the National Archives. That'd and I awesome. want to see the negatives, and I want to see, because they, for one thing, will allow me to digitize anything I want. Right. And I can't wait. I mean, that's that to me would be, for the stuff that I don't have, that is, you know, I mean, where's my forte? Obviously, it's in first generation. Right. Okay. Um, don't get me wrong, I think second generation is, is great, but, right. um, you know, t uh, in Titan 2 is neat, yeah. okay, but it's not like, to me, uh, it's, it's, it's not like LSF. It's yeah. just, no, it's you know, not. when you add the silo to the equation of an F site, yeah. I mean, there's, it's night and day. I mean, I mean no, the thing that, that I, I, is attractive to Titan 2 for me is they were still living with the bird like i told you that they, they were still on site taking care of the missile they were still there versus like i said minute man throw it in the hole and we'll check on it in 18 months i mean that is just oh absolutely it was the end of of an error i mean i looking at those sites there was nothing they couldn't do exactly but i am like i am definitely partial to atlas f and titan one but I mean, they're made from the standpoint of what they what they are capable of, and what we could do in short notice. Um, I mean, I feel like they just are. They, yeah. uh, what we were able to put together from an engineering standpoint amazes me. Absolutely amazes me. Yeah, they were they were sort of going blindly. And. Uh, then to see him gone, and you're kind of scratching your head going, wow, what happened? Yeah, that was fast. <laughs> I will say, uh, to kind of pre preface the uh, OSTF, the, the one thing you told me that that I was, I'm still trying to under comprehend is, is every different site yes. configuration had an o OSTF. I know. It, it, Bryce, let me tell you. I was the same way. I would get so confused. And then the Atlas F sites, the three at Vandenberg, uh -huh. the OSTF-2 had three different names. That's crazy. So now, and they're all used, and they're not used correctly. I hope that makes sense. And what I mean by that is they're not put in the context of the year, okay, that whatever the article, for example, is talking about. Uh -huh. and, it, and, and, it, and it changes. I mean, there were a few mistakes made. I can tell you another big one for Atlas uh, F was the missile numbers. The, what you see on the 
missile itself are three are the last three digits of the missile number. 